Unless you're new to the channel, you'll recognise this as the lathe I bought on eBay. It came with this standard three-jaw chuck fitted. I got a wealth of bits and pieces when I got the lathe, about a thousand pounds worth in all, all thrown in, and among them was this four-jaw chuck. The thing about a four-jaw, if you don't already know, is that you can move the jaws independently of each other, they don't always converge at the middle, and so you can do things like this. This aluminium plate will form one half of a two-part mould for a plastic injected part. That'll be the subject of the next video, but this video is about fitting the four-jaw chuck, which is not as straightforward as you might imagine. Removing the three-jaw chuck's easy, just remove the three bolts on the back of the faceplate and the chuck is ready to come off. Mm, probably should have put a bit of wood there. Anywho, this is the back of the three-jaw chuck and you can see those three bolts which previously held it to the faceplate. And this is the four-jaw chuck from the rear. And these three holes locate the four-jaw chuck on the faceplate. There is a minor snagette though, whilst these bolts are M8 and they fit the holes on the back of the three-jaw chuck, the holes on the back of the four-jaw chuck are not M8 and the bolts don't fit. Oh, they're close. They're so close that I spent 15 minutes trying to get the bolts in, but they don't fit. They just don't fit. And I had no way to find out what the holes were. Probably British standard Isambard, 16th of a chain, plumbing pipe, whatever. Anyway, I had to find um, a way to sort this situation out. Well, taking another look at the forejaw, you can see these four great big bolts on the front face of the forejaw. And they hold the chuck to this back plate. So if you remove the bolts, you can remove the back plate. And with the back plate removed, you can drill and tap some new holes. <coughs> yeah, I know, I know. It's remarkable, isn't it? But um, there is a big problem, or at least for me, how, how do I arrange to drill and tap, well, to locate three holes the correct distance from the centre and at 120 degrees uh, apart? Sorry, your team's up. Well, this is the solution that I came up with. I've put the four jaw chuck on the drill press and I'm using the four jaw chuck's recess so I can fit the adapter plate to the chuck and use it like a rotary table. And furthermore, by aligning this platform with the countersink drill here, we know this is the correct distance away from the centre Maybe it needs tapping over a little bit more. So now the idea is, well, without disturbing the chuck on this table, it's just sitting on it, but it's quite heavy, um, move it a known amount. So I line it in that hole there, and using the register on the forge or chuck, rotate this a little bit and make a new hole. The problem there is, well, how do you know you've rotated it the right amount? So you make a new hole here. How do you get the next new hole 120 degrees from this one? And the answer I've come up with is you set your calipers to uh, any old distance, actually. You dig the caliper into the previous hole and you rotate the ring until this jaw is under the drill bit. And if you do that for each hole, then the new holes should be equidistant from the old hole partners, and you'll have accomplished what you wanted to do. So that's what I'm going to try and do. Well, I've done that, and you can see the results. And it still seems that the alignment is good enough. So the hope is that we're in business, we'll see. Well, we weren't quite in business. It was close, but um, the, the flange wouldn't, the, the back plate wouldn't quite sit where it was supposed to do because one of the bolt holes was not perfectly aligned um, and I didn't want to force it. So what I did, ugly truth, is take um, a hand drill 
and open out the 9mm holes in the faceplate to make them 9.5mm holes and that allowed enough wiggle room to make the uh, adapter plate sit on the flange properly. Now I'm not too worried about that because um, the precise location of the adapter plate on the lathe is done through that recess. The bolts are not determining the exact position, the flange is determining the exact position. The bolts are just holding the plate, uh, the adapter plate to the back plate. So it's just as strong, it's just as precise um, and in fact it works perfectly and I've used it um, for a day um, with a four jaw, no problems. So finally and trepidatiously, job done. It wasn't very elegant and it wasn't perfect um, and it's probably the wrong way to do it so if you know how I should have done it I'm really interested to hear from you drop a, a comment below and for more like this subscribe feel free to rate and comment uh, on any aspect of the video and uh, hopefully see you next time.